all right guys uh so check this out uh on the last video i was checking the the cd player on this thing okay so this is the um the iowa um nsx 350m all right on the last video i said it was the uh the iowa dxn dx-n 350m which is almost kind of like the same name but this is for the cd player all right and um somehow i got the cd player working okay i'm gonna show you okay all right so first i replace the the belt on this um this motor right here okay and that's the one that moves the uh, that opens the uh, the tray the cd tray okay but then <coughs> it's working fine now oh wait what's happening now or see that's one of the things that CD player things that is playing like a uh, CD right now. I needed to switch to from radio to CD, okay, in order for me to open the uh, the tray. <clears throat> All right, so let's say uh, this is tray number two. Okay, and also, is the, is it, there's another belt right here, and this is for the um, for the mechanism of the tray. All right. Uh, so what I did to that belt, <coughs> it's a little bit old, so I put it in water and, uh, and into the uh, microwave oven for like two minutes. I covered it in water and then, uh, yeah, two minutes in the microwave oven. And uh, that's going to make it gain the resistance, you know, make it a little bit stronger again. So I put it back in and it's working excellent now. All right. <coughs> But then let's say I want to listen to that CD, train number two. Uh, so what I got to do is uh, uh, most of the time it's going to check all the trays to see how many CDs you, you got in. But uh, since you got one, it's going to try to read that one. But the thing is that uh, for some reason, uh, the motor that spins the cd it needs a little bit of help uh, other than that once you once you get spinning it, it's gonna play the cd all right let's say i want to play the cd number two see sometimes you won't play it and it will just go around the tray When that happens, I cannot do anything. I cannot even skip it. So I need to turn it off again. Actually, no, I just need to open the, the tray again. <coughs> and then with the CD tray open, I'll just uh, play a CD number two. And this is when the CD needs a little bit of help. See right here. And then it starts playing, see? If I don't give the CD that push, uh, it won't play at all. So I need to investigate that further. Um, I added some oil to the, to the motor, but uh, that didn't do anything. Uh, so it might need some uh, capacitors or maybe um, 
I need to re uh, manually readjust the uh, the motor or something like that. I don't know. I need to do something. So so uh, it starts on its own, you know. Uh, but yeah. So if it if I make it if I make it work again, like the way it should, I'm gonna make another video um, showing you that everything is working with this uh, this awesome. Um, Vintage Iowa bookshelf stereo. All right, that's it for the video. That's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching.